Brothers. Like, dog, think about their children, 600,000 600, black men fucking, out in the world fucking and having kids, bro. Mm -hmm. Hey, gone. Them kids will never exist, bro. Hmm. You know, so for, for me, man, I um, I actually did something. I'm going to tell you something I ain't never said on camera. Bro, I started to step back for a minute. Because one thing that's happening is that especially the black leaders, they're showing their faces. Mm -hmm. See, something is happening right now is when Obama was in office, it was sort of cool to be for black issues. You know what I'm saying? It was sort of cool. So like the snakes were able sort of to hide as long as they were, you know, black folks, they were able to hide under the veil of helping black folks. Mm -hmm. Well, now that the guard is changing, they really have to find their place in the world. Right. So they're really trying to bootlick with, you know what I'm saying, with these white folks. And they're really showing their faces. And I mean, some of them are not even smarter, smart enough to try to play cool. Hmm. Like they outright cooning, dog. So what I, what I decided to do is to just step back and let all these motherfuckers play themselves, bro. Right, the smoke clear. And let the smoke clear, bro, and hopefully be the man that I'm supposed to be. Whether people decide to allow me to be a part of the movement or whatever the situation could be, all I can do is speak my truth, you know, and, and speak it in a way where I don't fear. Because I am one of the few people who speak the way that I speak and still bring in the type of money that I bring in. So I don't have to. I run my own company, bro. I don't have no children. I sold all the Bentleys and all the extra houses and shit, bro. I got one, one, one nice house, hmm. one nice car, and them bitches is paid for. Respect. Well, not the house. The house is not paid for. But my, my cars and all my shit paid for. Respect. So, like, now when I bring in money, the fact that I don't have no children, bro, I'm building wealth. So even if people decide not to fuck with me for a while because I'm saving, I can sit back and talk shit for three years. Hmm. And then hopefully shit will get back better. You know? Yeah, that's important though, cause I mean that even this whole conversation of, you know, being secure with yourself, mm -hmm. you know, like I spent a large part of my life as a lot of us do trying to please other people or mm -hmm. try to reach certain validations and everything. Mm -hmm. And I pretty much this was spark us jumping off and really like going out here and making everything happen for mm -hmm. me to come up with an idea of I can get KRS to an event. I can get Banner to an event. Mm -hmm. And really going out and making that happen, you know, because I, I got beyond waiting for people to tell me it's okay or it's time or it's you all right to do what you do, you know. Sometimes I don't even have an answer on how I'm going to bring it together. This, I honestly was getting to the end like, oh, man, how are you? Mm -hmm. The great divine, you know, you walk out there and, 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 and put your things into the universe, everything you're trying to do, jump out there and, and do it and believe in that, you know, and my belief is what really carries me over a lot of times when I don't even have my own answer. I just know that if I walk the right path, it's going to all fall in place. I'm going to tell you something that I believe is only my personal belief. I don't think that God is such a cruel God that he, she or it would allow you to think something that you couldn't do. Right. The fact that you can fathom, the fact that you can dream an idea and formulate it in your mind, mm -hmm. that means it can be done. Now, if you're a man or woman enough to do it, uh, that's on you. Mm -hmm. The thing that I really believe that the only thing that the most high should do is allow you to vibrate at a level where you can you can get certain messages. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes I ever been thinking something somebody on the other part, the other end of the world end up doing the same exact shit that you was thinking because it was in the stratosphere, it was in the universe and they were able to vibrate, but they were on their shit a little bit harder than you because they were able to let it manifest early. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So for me, that's the most important thing is for the vision. And bro, if you can visualize it, bro, you can do it. Uh, again, same thing like like you. I don't even know how to fuck. I'll give you an example, bro. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't put this on tape, but um, one of the things that people don't know about me is I run a multimedia company. I do music for some of the bees. Like I did, I did all the music for Gatorade for the World Cup. Hmm. Um, and bro, when I walk into these 
billion dollar companies. They said, David Banner, can you do? I said, how much you paying? <laughs> Hell yeah, I can do it, man. I don't even know how to do half of that shit. But I know that I'm gonna go out and make it happen. So bro, I go and hire the top people in that field and I come back and even if I have to spend all the money <laughs> getting another person to do it, as long as I turn it in on time, I now have that relationship with that company. People always thinking it's, it's about right now money. Mm -hmm. No, it's about the relationship. Mm -hmm. The re relationships, my mentor told me this, relationships are worth more than any fucking jewel or dollar on this earth, bro. Mm -hmm. So that's why you have to be on time. Like, bro, I don't do the, I don't do the late shit. If you notice, bro, y'all ask me to do something, I work the full time. I work the full time. Yeah, so. And, bro, like, to be honest with you, like, we came more because of where this was. Hmm. Like, I, I want to go to places where other rappers don't come. I want to touch and feel people. So when I, I want, now watch, I said this. When my movement manifests, people going to be like, how in the fuck hmm. did David Banner do that shit? It's because I fuck with people and I mean it, dog. Like, I really love black folks. Hmm. Even when a lot of times I know that they may not give a fuck about me. Like, I real live fuck hmm. with my people, bro. Now, when people mistreat me, I don't come back. Right. That's one thing that, like, age has brought to me. I'm not going no place where I feel like a motherfucker want to kill me or a motherfucker don't like me. Yeah. Hmm. We too old for that shit, bro. Because hmm. there is some place on this earth where someone loves you. And I believe you should be in the place that people love you and they care about you and they adore you. So you can spend more time vibrating than protecting yourself or, you know, having to look over your fucking, like, I don't want all that shit, man. Hmm. Like, I don't, I don't have no, no hate for people. I don't have no, like, I, I want to help people make money. So you get around people, bro, that... <laughs> Like, if somebody around y'all, bro, don't believe, you got to get them motherfuckers away from you, bro. Oh, yeah. Like, you keep dreamers around you, but people who are willing to work. Not just the ones that got their head up in the air dreaming, but somebody who can dream the dream, grab that shit out of the universe, and then get to fucking work, bro. No doubt. And I'm proud of y'all, bro. Like, I had an awesome time tonight, bro. Right, I had a right. good time. That's what's up. I had a real good time. I just missed the bar, but, you know. <laughs> it's all good. Huh. Well, uh, if you you got any last words, any last thing you want to drop? Um, just pre-order the God Box, um, and I'm thankful. I just found out that um, we got so many pre-orders on the God Box that whenever I drop it, we are hitting the charts on iTunes. So like that's an accomplishment for me, and you know this is sort of an uncomfortable period for me because um, this is like when I really you know, made my outward change. I've been conscious since I was in 11th grade, but mm -hmm. I always went back and forth because right. I was conscious here, but my body was here. You right. feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, I just made a decision that I'm putting it all here. You feel what I'm saying? And the God box is the manifestation of that. And something happened to me, bro, that was crazy that I am now man enough to say, bro, I had, I had developed, because the God Box was supposed to come out almost two years ago. Hmm. I had developed, um, what do they call it? Uh, when when you're connected with something and don't want to let it go. Um, uh, I forgot what you call it, but I had become some anxiety, something. No, it's not really, a, I, I forgot. Yo, separation anxiety, you're right. Yeah. Separation anxiety. Because um, I didn't believe that people really would, like, would respect what I had done. Cause bro, like all my life, man, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like 